Welcome to the Points Taken Podcast. This is episode 19, available Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. We are done with October. My name is James Keeley. How you doing, Sammy? I'm doing good, James. How are yourself? All is well, buddy. Mm-hmm. Again, we only take underdogs, overs, and props on this show. We got a very special birthday shout out to our boy, super fan, Bill Stansberry. Oh, nice. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I think this might drop a little bit early, so his birthday's November 1st, but uh, we love us some Bill Stansberry. Yeah, what a he's guy. He's been great. Absolutely. He's helping us out a lot. So post comments on X at Points Ticket Pod. Tell us about the show, what you like, what you're not liking, uh, and what do we got on the show today, Sam? We've got Game Day Food, Guest Picker, and Grand Larceny. All right, Sammy, let's do a Halloween show recap. Yeah, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of uh, work. A lot of costume changes. A lot of costume changes. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't have as much feedback yet because we're filming this uh, the next day after it was released. People are still watching. It was a long episode. Yeah. Yeah, people are spacing that one out. But hey, man, if we're riffing, let's give the people what they want. Absolutely. More Jimmy and Sammy. <laughs> and uh, my buddy Carlos is very upset because we put up your picture of you as um, the pirate. Yeah. And that was his joke. And he's like, what about my credit? Oh, no. <laughs> he's a real writer now. A real comedy writer, that guy. First funny thing he's ever done in his <laughs> life. Is he still on strike? Yeah, <laughs> he's still on strike. <laughs> Should go back on strike forever. He wrote that joke and then immediately joined the picket line. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was a solid joke. You gave a lot of credit. Oh, absolutely loved it. Good job on that. Everything else you ever said. Not <laughs> Tiny Bane was appreciated, but real Bane was requested. Oh, well, okay. I didn't exactly have the uh, shoulders or arms this, this year, or any other body part. <laughs> so we just we just let the action figure do all the work. Tiny Bane was great. He's scary. He was still scary. Yeah. So, But he was great. We appreciate our old buddy Jordan Kaplan coming back on the show, helping Absolutely, us out. Absolutely, thank you. And, and we also appreciate Hulk Hogan mm-hmm. and uh, Mario. A lot of famous people stopped by. It was so, it was action-packed. It it's, was, yeah. it's a wonder there's less than 100 views currently, because there were a lot of people, alive and dead, that made appearances. Appearances? Appearances, yeah. Yep, those two. All right, let's get into some college football. College football picks. <laughs> All right, week 10 of college football, starting off with Kansas State at Texas. It was 11 a.m. game. Kansas State was plus 4.5 with a total of 50.5. Yeah, the Texas quarterback, Quinn Ewers, is still out with an injury. they got Malik Murphy going. They uh, they waxed BYU 35-6 last week. Um, but Kansas State could put up some points. They're also looking pretty good. Plus 4.5 is uh, an interesting take. What, what are we going to take? We took uh, the total at 50.5. Yeah, I like that. I think they both put up some numbers. Uh, I think that's goes closer to the 60s, so mm-hmm. we'll see. What's the next one? Notre Dame at Clemson. It's at 11 a.m. as well. Clemson's plus three with a total of 45 and a half. Yeah, so um, we don't take favorites in this. Mm-hmm. But if we did, I would take Notre Dame. Clemson looks like they're just having a rough one. This Maybe th- maybe this is a sneaky line. I don't know. But I would if, if I was betting uh, favorites, I would take Notre Dame and lay the three on this one. Mm-hmm. But what are we going to take? We're taking Notre Dame team total over 23 and a half. Yeah, I just like what they're doing on offense a little bit, and they, they seem to create some uh, havoc on defense. So uh, I, I think we're going we're gonna to stick with that. And what's the last one on college football? Last game, our pick is Arizona State at Utah. It's a 1 p.m. game. Um, is a, and we also have oh, another LSU game. at Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. So what we have here is a two-team ML parlay. What yeah. is that, Sammy? Uh, I'm guessing it's a two-pick game bet. I don't know. You're doing great. Right. I know parlay. That yeah, I we got to pick them last week. So we're going we're gonna to hit some education to Sammy yeah. here. Two-team ML parlay is a two-team money line parlay. Okay. Basically, money all line. we have to do is pick the winner. So we're going to pick the favorites here. We're going to pick Bama. They're minus three. And we're going to pick Utah, and they're minus 11. Okay. But if you say they're both going to win, you don't have to pay into this juice. You don't have to do anything. But you have to win both games. Okay. All right? So we're picking Utah and Alabama, both to win. 100 to get you 100, 103. You're getting a little bit back on that. So we're going to try a Moneyline Parlay this time. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, we might add some on X, but we'll see. But let's get on to the NFL. NFL picks. NFL Week 9 picks. We're starting off with Titans at Steelers. It is the Thursday night football game. Titans are plus three with a total of 36 and a half. All right. Time to get back to our Thursday night football dominant. Yeah, we're getting it back. We were killing it. Uh, Will Levis, the rookie out of Kentucky who slipped in the draft, is now QB1 in Tennessee. He had a very good week last week. He went 19 for 29, 238 yards and four touchdowns. So he went out and killed it. He was kind of embarrassed on uh, draft night. He was sitting there looking great, his girlfriend on his lap, and they just no one was selecting him. First round ended. 
It was very cringy. Ah, oh, that is cringy. They had and some, I hate to see that. Yeah, they had some flags on him. I think he and the girlfriend broke up after that. She was like, this is my meal ticket. And then she's like, he's not going not going to places I want to go to. But now, you know, he had a good game. He started out pretty good. It's his job to lose. So um, he threw some really nice deep balls to DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, what are we going to take in this? We're taking the Titans plus three. Yeah, you know, the Steelers are inconsistent, kind of banged up. Kenny Pickett's banged up. Um... Minka Fitzpatrick's banged up, so I, I think I'm going to ride with the Titans, and they have Derrick Henry as always. Nice. Baby. What's the next one? Next one is Dolphins at Chiefs. It's an 8.30 a.m. game because they are out in Frankfurt, Germany. Yeah. Mm. And uh, what's the line on that? Uh, Dolphins plus 2.5, total 50.5. Yeah, so I really want to take the fins here. Line's jumping around, but the game being played in Germany concerns me. That's an issue. Mahomes had the flu. He played terrible last week. They got beat. They got they got beat really bad mm-hmm. by the Broncos. Did you see that? They got beat twenty four to nine. And after wow. that, the Bron- in the Broncos stadium, they played Taylor Swift songs. Oh god! I thought that was marvelous. <laughs> so I'm great. sitting here. This is a true story. I'm sitting here, and I'm like, do I take the Dolphins team total over, or do I t- take Tyreek Kill to score a touchdown? Because we haven't done many of those props. Mm-hmm. Like if you take a player to score just a touchdown, you get kind of decent odds on it. If it's, if it's the main guy, you know, you you might spend a little juice. So Tyreek was like minus one twenty. So I'm like, the team total looks good, but then it started jumping. Mm-hmm. And then the doorbell rang. Got a delivery. Oh. Thought it was nothing. Check out what I got. Ooh, it's, Pull like, this open. it's like Christmas, huh? Oh, my wow. buddy. I could do the, I my buddy Stu Patterson sends me this. Gets my address the other day. Sends me this. So we got nice Turn it around. there. Turn it around. It's an autographed Tyreek Hill jersey, number 10. Oh. Look at what my boy did for me. Wow. Amazing. That's cool. I mean, so we are the, a sign from God. Yeah. I might put a big play on this. Tyreek Hill to score a touchdown. I'm going to hold this, treat this very nice. Thank you, sure. Stu. Uh, spill he, on this. He scammed me. He's like, what's your address? I'm like, why? And I gave him my address, of course. I didn't think he was going to mail bump me. <laughs> but he, uh, he's like, Christmas card. And his mom sends out Christmas cards early. Mm-hmm. But I was like, all right, it'd be fun if it was like something cool, though. You know, I like a Christmas card and everything, but you know, you expect those. And then I get this as, cool. I'm, as I'm worried about the game. That's cool. Good day. Mm-hmm. Thank you, my buddy Stu, the, the poker superstar known as the donator, <laughs> turning around a little, little money to his boy here. Nice. What a beautiful gift. He'll probably send me like an invoice like, that was $700. You owe <laughs> it's me. It's the next package that comes through. <laughs> you owe me. So, but yeah, I was thinking about Tyreek because the Chiefs got rid of him. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to pay him what he wanted, which was $30 million a year. He got a four year contract for $120 million for a wide receiver. Is unheard of. That's, yeah, unheard of. Worth every penny. Yeah, he's worth sixty million dollars. I mean, he is unbelievable. He's breaking records already. He's got a thousand yards already. Eight wow. games in. Wow. That doesn't happen. No. That's impressive. And he's nicknamed himself the Cheetah. You know, he wants to spite that team and go and put up three touchdowns and two hundred yeah. yards on them. I think he's gonna have a big day. Or maybe they double him all day and Waddle has a big day. But I like the. Uh, so so what are we taking here? We're taking the Dolphins team total over twenty three and a half. Right. But that went up. And it can't get it anymore. So I wouldn't, you're not going to oh. get it. So we're not going to take that. But what are we going to, oh, okay. the main one? The Tyreek Hill to score a touchdown at, 120, at minus 120. Yeah, that's the one we're going to take. So mm-hmm. I, if, if the team total goes down, we'll post that on X. But I don't think it will. It keeps going up. Now it's like 25 and a half. Wow. Which is, you're, you're far away from your good number on that. Mm-hmm. But uh, let's take Tyreek on that one. What's the last one? Last is Cowboys at Eagles. It's the 325 game. Cowboys are plus three with a total of 46. Yeah, I mean, these teams are getting hot. Eagles offense is clicking the last two games. They put up 31 versus the Fens and 38 versus the Commanders after they were down. They were down 14 to 3 uh, going into the second. They didn't look good and then they just they started killing it. Um, last three games against Dallas, they've scored 26, 26 and 34. Uh, so the over looks good. Cowboys plus 3 maybe, but I don't know. At Eagles, I, I I just think the Eagles look better right now by a lot. What what are we taking? We're taking the Eagles team total of over 23 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I again, 26, 26, and 34 in the last three uh, matchups. I see him getting into the 30s here. Should be a fun game to watch. And uh, some other games I'm looking at, what do we got? Uh, Seahawks at Ravens has an over of 42 and a half. Yeah, that opened at 43 and a half. If it dips down to like 41, I'm going to jump it. Any of these plays would be, on, would be on X, so look out for those. These are not the official plays yet. We might post some other stuff there. But, um, you know, Seahawks are putting up some points. Ravens are starting to put it together. They were a real field goal heavy team, but now they're starting to score some points. They're doing okay in our uh, our uh, long distance uh, future bet. So nice. We'll see how that goes. What's the next one? Commanders at uh, 
where is it at? Commander's team total? Yeah. Over, 50, eight, over 18 and a half. Yeah. Uh, I have no faith in the Patriots. Mm-hmm. I could see them doing something sneaky and trying to tank. Commanders are putting up some points. Um, they put up 31 on a much better uh, Philly defense. And uh, that was after bouncing back from an atrocious loss to the Giants, 7-14. to But Sam Howell's playing well. He's putting up a lot of, a lot of points. And they're playing well. They, they traded their two defensive ends, but, I mean... I don't think that's going to like kill their season. They're not. I don't think they're tanking yet. Mm-hmm. A lot of teams are tanking, but I don't think they're one of them. And what's the last one? Bills at Bengals. The Bills are plus three. Yeah, this is a uh, you know the Demar Hamlin rematch game. I think the Bills the Bills might come out pretty hot on this one. I, I'm sure it'll be emotional, but I don't know. They almost lost a team, like literally lost a teammate that day. Oh yeah. I just think they'll uh, they'll come out. So I might I might make that a play too. Um, so we're going to have a, a three-team parlay here. What do we got? we got the Notre Dame team total over 23-and-a-half, Tyreek Hill to score a TD anytime, and Philadelphia Eagles team total over 23-and-a-half. Yeah. We're going to give away uh, one of these parlays to a follower who wishes Bill a happy birthday on YouTube or X. Nice. Get it, get it in there for, for Billy Boy. Wish Bill a happy birthday. We'll try to get you in the running for a parlay ticket. They've been very successful so Yo, far. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Talk of the town for and sure. And we're going to send one to Bill for his birthday. Very cool. Hopefully this will lead to some pro bono money managing opportunities that he's been dying for me to take care of. <laughs> uh, and then the legend, Stu Patterson. He's going to get one too. Nice. $20 to $5 t- <laughs> probably ticket means nothing to him. <laughs> just didn't cost him an arm and a leg. <laughs> he wipes his nose with $25 bills, which are very rare. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I've, never, I've never seen one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're going to give one more to a guest picker that's coming up on the show. We'll give... We'll, and we'll, We'll retroactively give some parlay tickets to the uh, the previous uh, guest pickers oh, yeah. on the show. See we if they can win them some money. We don't want them revolting against those. No, we don't. What was my thing? And we're also going to get them a little points taken uh, pod t shirt. We're nice. going to get everybody swagged up. Getting everybody some merch. Get everybody set. And again, like anyone who hasn't won a parlay is still eligible. So everyone, <laughs> no one's won one. Because my picks have been terrible. We've been close a couple of times. I mean, real close. Half a point close. I actually feel really good about this one. Yeah. And I can't wait to make fun of myself on Tuesday's episode when it goes 0-3. This is the one. This is the one. I can tell you no, guys. This is the one. Put everything on it. Risk your house. All right. And last but not least, we got Sammy's pick. What yes. are we liking, Sam? I'm liking the Chargers at Jets. It's the Monday Night Football. And I'm taking the Jets plus three. That's crazy Crazy thinking to me. Yeah, I, I got your text. I, I definitely know how you feel about it. I but but the line seems suspicious. So maybe okay. you're onto something. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my buddy uh, David D is going to be happy with his Jets pick. He was real. He was real. Uh, he was real disappointing. You picked the Giants over his Jets last week. Mm, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it pains me to say it, but the Chargers haven't done anything. They, they're, they're they're ready. I mean, they they had a good game last week, but you know, first the Bears. I mean, mm. Come on. So Jets plus three. All right, you're four and three, four three and one on the season. Mm-hmm. So we'll get there. All right, we got a very special guest picker coming up. Exciting. Let's get to it. You get a gold sticker when you're the guest picker. Sammy. Yeah. We have a special guest picker with us. Back from the dead. Who do we have here, man? David Carroll. David Carroll, former member of the legendary Chicago troupe, sketch troupe, Smart Corky. Yeah. But not former. When you're in, you're in for life. For life. The NWO. It's the comedy gang. Of sketch comedy. How you doing, Dave? Feeling good, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Good to see you. It's been a while. I know. We, 20, we used to, 24 years or what? We used to go out. Not, not that long. <laughs> we used to go do comedy shows, go out, have a couple of sarsaparillas, have a good time. And then you and I are like, hey, I'll catch up with you in a little while. And then like 10 years later, we have yeah. five children between us. We're both suburb dads. <laughs> yeah, suburb dads. We used to be... Used to be a real sketch comedy rock stars, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now <laughs> rising stars in the no, improv world. This. Yep, and now this. You got two daughters. I got three daughters. My two lord. Daughters. Yeah, princess dads, man. Absolutely. Dave is a viral sensation. Yeah, viral sensation. He did a Malort sketch a while ago, had over a million views. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lord. YouTube one hit wonder, my yeah. man. Yeah. I'll so take it. If you it. think he looks familiar, you've seen him on YouTube. You've seen him on YouTube. <laughs> where, where can we find that thing? Is it still on YouTube? It's it's still there. What we, is it like? We, listen we, under uh, Malort. Just, Just honestly, if you Google Malort. Malort, it's probably one in the top five videos that pops up. Shout out to my buddy Chris Honorado, wrote that thing and lived it up. It Great, was real great. Malort. Mm-hmm. And, and spell Malort for me because I, I don't know if I spelled it right. Is it M A L L? One L. One L. M A L O R T. If you haven't had Malort, I never even heard of it before I moved to. The area up here. Yeah. It's uh it's something else. It's like drinking a childhood nightmare. That's we will it. never put that on the show as a game day drink because we already oh. know the answer. No, it's like it's like absinthe for 
in the Midwest. Yeah, it's it's it, it's it's bad decisions after that. A bad decision to start with because you'll have a couple drinks and then you'll be like, let's try the Malort. <laughs> if you immediately want to ruin your night, that's a perfect starter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Dave, uh, Dave likes a little bit of the gambling. Mm-hmm. Do a little fa- daily fantasy on DraftKings, some parlays on Bet Rivers. Uh, so yeah, he's he's in. He's going to be a great guest picker. He's got to go. He's yeah. got to sweep the board. I gave him really hard games today, though. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. But uh, you know, you know what you're doing. You're not just choosing by like, you know, hat <laughs> helmet color hat. There were hats out there, <laughs> helmet color or with sombreros out there. Name, yeah. Exactly. Let's change the game up a little bit, guys. Yeah, yeah. sombreros today. Yeah. How was Halloween, Dave? It was great, man. Come yeah, on. I got to be the Teen Wolf. Can we show a picture of the Please. Teen Wolf? That I mean, that looks like you're on your way. That have looks you, like you're moving. If you told me that was Teen Wolf too, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. That's it. Sequel being filmed right now. Yeah. There, unfortunately, there was a sequel to it. There and was a sequel. Nobody wants to talk about it. Yeah, there was a song in there called "Send Me an Angel." And I was <laughs> whenever I hear that, I'm like, oh, that was in Teen Wolf too. Ugh, brutal. That should be the podcast theme song. And they always they always tease what's his face. Uh, who was in it? Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. But he, he was... took like every job and then he got hot again. Was, yeah. was he Team Wolf too? Yeah. He was Team Wolf too. He oh, was yeah. the Jason second Bateman. Teen Wolf. Yeah. yeah. He really came back. If, if you want to know what uh, a wolf boxing looked like, this is the yeah. movie. They're like, yeah, let's let's get him into a different sport. He's, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, we're going to, you know, did, did the girls have a good time? Oh, the girls, they, they loved it. They loved it. They were a little embarrassed of my costume, but that's how you know it's right, man. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to hit you with a Fast Five Halloween candy edition. Ooh. This is a tough one. All right. Dave, Starburst or Skittles? Starburst or Skittles? Starburst or Skittles? That is tough. It's very tough, but there is an answer. As a kid, I'd, I'm going to go Skittles, man. I was a Skittle kid. What do you think, Sam? I'm Starburst. Uh, Skittles is the answer. Correct, Ooh, Dave. Good Dave change. starts off strong. In your face. <sighs> Kit Kat. Amazing, in my opinion. Or, take five. You know, anything outside of Kit Kat. I'll take the or. Really? Wow. Not a Kit Kat guy. Wow. I'm taking, I'm taking Kit Kat. Okay. The answer is take five. <laughs> nice. Two for two. Yeah, Dave's killing it. Damn it, not so much. Um, let's go with bad ones. Strawberry hard candies or candy corn. Candy like, corn, worst. We're talking worst candy? No, what's, what, what, what would you rather have? Oh. Because uh, candy corn's the worst. Yeah, Anything else? Strawberry hard candy. Yeah, strawberry hard candy. I honestly won't even tr- eat uh, candy corn. No. Candy. Yeah, anything anything compared to candy corn. <laughs> yeah. It's like, would you like apples or razor blade apples? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> apples. Just apples. Apple is better. It's a tough, tough one, but I guess yeah. I gotta go with apples. All right, now we're getting into the Reese's section. Reese's mm-hmm. Pieces or M and M's. I'm a Reese's Pieces man all day. Reese's. I, Anything Reese's. I'm like a Reese's top, board. I had to go with M and M's on this one. Oh. And then we're going to the last one. Reese's peanut butter cups or Shockingly fantastic peanut butter Twix. You know, I have not had a peanut butter Twix, uh, but I'm going to go with peanut butter Twix. That I gonna, love Twix is my favorite one. You're going to have to leave and go right now. Yeah, Reese's peanut butter yeah. cup is the champion. All Reese's day. peanut butter cup is the champion. Mm-hmm. But I had to put this in here because I, I'm shocked at how good uh, peanut butter Twix are. Did I just get 100% on that? Um, yeah. Nice. Could, no, yeah. You. Oh my god. I might, you might be the first. Really yep. good. Starting all right. Off good man. Well. Let's talk a little football. Uh, but first of all, woke up this morning. Mm-hmm. Kid was not feeling well after some trick or treating. We're filming this the day after uh, Halloween. Uh, she goes, My foot hurts. Her foot was hurting from something. So I got up at 2 30. Then was thinking about the show for till 3 30. Then couldn't get back to sleep. So I've been up and then I took a little nap. But yeah, there was a, there was a tough one. But at like, uh, like four in the morning, something pings for sports things. The, uh, the, uh, the Raiders fired their coach and GM mm-hmm. overnight, which. Twice in three years. Wow. He's not doing a good job. You would think someone that makes sound decisions with haircuts would be, you know, better. <laughs> wow. I mean, he's, he's special. Oh, <laughs> he, I think at this point, he's, this is like an F you to the world. I'm this rich. I'm this rich. You mess well. up a bulk of that. Uh, hey, you got a, you got billions of dollars. Yeah. yeah. Somebody can fix that. Somebody, you got to be a psychopath. Somebody in yeah. his circle should have been like, hey, you know what? But I think Dave's right. I think he's going, like, I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll, right. I'll go out with hot chicks from <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> That's right. There's man. nothing you could do about it. I bet he's a and joy. The biggest F you haircut. I bet. I bet. I'm, I'll always be richer than you. Yeah. yeah. I, I bet he's a joy when he's on top of you with that haircut. <laughs> yeah. You're earning your money, madam. And it just doesn't move, though. Yeah. Ever, you know? Enjoy. <laughs> Take your money. 
<laughs> and then, a <laughs> and then the billion dollar head smash. And then uh, there was some grand larceny in college football this weekend. Did you see this? No. Did you see this? Have you seen this, guys? Have you seen this? I'm doing a little letter. Yeah. Tell him Ronald got robbed at UCLA. Have you seen that? Have you seen that, ladies and gentlemen? Um, Colorado goes to play UCLA. They get beat. And when they get back, their lockers are cleaned out of all their jewelry and all their money and their phones or whatever. They got they got wiped out, according to the team. Wow. Yeah. That's a huge mess up right there. Yeah. I didn't expect that if they were here in Chicago, but... Right. Wow. It, it, Does that it, include Primetime's jeweler? Uh, I don't know I if he had... He usually wears it. Yeah, I was going to say, he has it always on. There's no way. On his body. There's like massive penalties for that in California. If you rob somebody, you do not get sprinkles on your frozen yogurt. No. <laughs> so it's and they're a bad. And day. they'll be like, "That was wrong. Yeah. Don't do it tomorrow. Wait a day." There's no penalty for crime in California. No. no. There's no penalty for crime in Chicago. Mm. But if you park wrong, get out of here. Or if you try to stop. Yes. <laughs> if you try to stop someone from robbing a place. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. You're, yeah. So yeah. So Coach Prime is like. They they need to re- reimburse my players, hmm. and he's like, and then he kind of starts thinking. He's like, I'm sure they'll be honest about what was taken, because <laughs> he knows they're gonna be like, man, I brought my Lamborghini yeah, in there. Yeah, my Bugatti was around my neck. <laughs> I swear, I took it off for the game. And my grandmother died. She gave me four million dollars, and I had to bring it to the game. It was in my locker. They, they just show a picture of a like, Titanic ring from the yeah. movie. Yeah. Like, that was, that was the necklace, right? Yeah. The necklace. Yeah, they just show the necklace. No, this was mine. The heart of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be fun to clean up. Yeah. Good luck. So they're playing. I wouldn't even touch that game this weekend because I'm like, they're gonna be in a mood. They're not gonna be focused. <laughs> Because those guys, they're not exactly claiming that in their taxes. This, no, the, the money no. they've gotten from all these boosters and everything. So, yeah, that's a mess. It's a little, little grand, grand larceny. Mm-hmm. All right. We got the leaderboard up. Here, let's check it out. Currently, the leader is still Jordan Kaplan. Killing He's it. He's really hanging on to it. Killing it. Um, we we had a pretty good showing from Phaedra Chantel. Uh she beat Brett Weinstein. We got to we got to reverse that. That that that's on the flippity flop. Uh, but she's in front of Brett. Um, so you got eight, you got to do eight or better. All right. Well, I got I got to help Brett out, man. He's family, so you do. I gotta I gotta take us to the top. Bring our name Brett, back. Brett, did I say Weinstein? Uh, Brett Weinstein. <laughs> he corrected me on that about a million times. Yeah. Brett Weinstein needs to be avenged. So uh, let's get it, let's get it started here. We have the first game in college football. It's Notre Dame at Clemson. What do you got on this one? Not a Notre Dame fan, but they're going to win it, man. Yeah, I agree. I'll go Clemson. Yeah. Just to be difficult. All right. Missouri or Georgia? Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Swept the board on that one. This is a tougher one. Oklahoma at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma with a big letdown at Kansas last week. I think Oklahoma State's going to upset him, man. Yeah? That's it. I'm going Oklahoma. Okay. I could see I could see where you're coming from there. I'm going Oklahoma, too. And I also had Notre Dame and Georgia. Uh, Washington at USC. This should be interesting. What do you got? Like yeah, it's going to be a high score, man. USC, though. We'll pull it out. I'm liking USC in this one. Yeah, the total is 75 and a half. Yeah. Wow. No defense. Yeah. But Washington's D's yeah. played fairly well. So who'd you go with that one? Washington. USC. USC? USC. Okay. Both USC. Okay. Uh, I got Washington on that one. LSU at Alabama. Well, I wonder who James is picking yeah. on that one. Don't even bother. <laughs> I know I'm a guess. I'm not kissing up to you, but Bama's going to win, man. Yeah. I'll go LSU. Of course you will. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We, 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 they they ran that two point conversion on us last year and and, and beat us. Brian mm-hmm. Kelly beat us. You don't think Saban has been stewing about that <laughs> every night, every day of his he's, life? He seems like a down to earth guy. I yeah. Don't know, man. Oh, so on this we, we do get to pick it, but I wouldn't bet on it. Oregon State, Colorado. This was easy for me. It's gonna be Oregon State, man. But I'd love to see Colorado keep winning. But they just don't have a defense. It's it's Oregon State. They got to earn some of that money back. Yeah, that's that. yeah. After all the rings and cash. I want to see them come back mad, but I don't think they're gonna come back. <clears throat> On to the NFL. All right. Thursday night game: Titans with a new quarterback, Will Levis. Yeah. At Steelers, who might not have a quarterback, Kenny Pickett. It might be Trubisky time. So we all know what that's all about. Yeah. Who do you like in that one, Dave? I mean, they say Kenny's starting, but he's hurt, man. Yeah. I'm gonna go Titans though. I yeah. think uh, Derrick Henry's gonna do it, man. Yeah, Henry and Levis and and uh, DeAndre Hopkins is had yeah, a great he, game. He was on fire last week. Oh, what do you like there, I'm, Sam? I got faith in the Steelers. I think they'll pull it off. Yeah. Even if we have to go old school Trubisky. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday game, Dolphins at Chiefs. This is a tight line, oh, dude. And it's dropping. It, it was Chiefs minus two and a half. Now it's minus one and a half. Wow. 
It's this is a tough one. What do you like? And they're in Carol? Germany. And they're in Frankfurt, Germany. Yeah. Eight thirty a.m. start for us local guys here. You know, after last week, uh, Mahomes doesn't have the flu. I'm gonna go. I'm going Chiefs. Yeah. I think they're gonna pull it off. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go with Chiefs on this one. Yeah, you're both wrong. Yeah. Dolphins. That, that jet lag's <laughs> gonna be rough on yeah. the game. It's also rough when you have the flu yeah. and you gotta fly across the country. Enjoy pooping in that uh, airplane the whole time. They don't, they don't poop in the same bathrooms we do. That's true. Yeah, they, they, yeah, not really nice right. they should they poop in the, the cockpit. Yeah. <laughs> Just right up front. The captain. Yeah. Hey, captain yeah. up. Yeah. If you're a you team captain, to... yeah, yeah. they open up the captain yeah, yeah. seat, then you treat yourself. <laughs> uh, command, commanders just traded somebody to the... Uh, to the Bears, mm-hmm. like I'm on test sweat. Yeah. People are like, oh, we want our picks. <laughs> like the Bears have been nailing their picks yeah. lately. Yeah, yeah. Go, go to a team where someone actually made a good pick and then get their player for one of your picks yeah. that you're going to blow. Yeah. That's my opinion on it. Commanders at Patriots. Who do you like there? It's going to be a tough game, too. I'm going to go Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going Patriots. Yeah, you're wrong. Commanders is the yeah. answer, actually. It's, that's going to be a good game, though. I'm excited to watch yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and then Bears at Saints. Um, I don't think Badgen's going to get done. I'm going Saints. you got to go Saints. I'm, I, I'm over the Bears this season. Yeah, Badgen is trying hard, but he is not the, the talent they that he has right now. He has he needs time, if if, if anything at yeah. all. You know, They should put his dad in. He's a world champion arm wrestler. Is he? They need to put him in. Well, that's yeah. that, that, that completely story. translates. Yeah. <laughs> Every arm wrestler has been such a great NFL quarterback. <laughs> It's over, uh, it's over the top of the over football, the top. bro. Lincoln Hawk. Yeah, Lincoln Hawk the for greatest. football, dude. Yep. <laughs> the greatest slinger. Yeah. The, the Bears can blame James, though. Their season was over when you picked him in the Futures. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's my fault. My other ones are doing great, by the way. <laughs> but when you picked it's the Bears my fault. in the future, that was it. Junk-ass Bears. Yeah, should have just fault. sat all their starters. and. Uh huh. Well, they pretty much have. <laughs> yeah. Cowboys and Eagles. Be high flying, man. I'm going to go Cowboys, though. But after last week, they're, I'm going, they're on fire. I'm going Eagles. Yeah, Eagles is the answer. Bills at Bengals. Demar Hamlin, you know, yeah. party. <laughs> Hopefully he does better this time. Hate to make fun of it, but he should hang it up. <laughs> that could have, yeah, he could have, he could have been a world. You know, he was dead on the champion. field. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. This might be his weekend at Bernie's game, but it's uh, yeah. Bills. I'm going Bills on this one. Yeah, I go with the Bengals. Bengals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was an uh, interesting week last week. I uh, went eleven and one. Yeah, that was awesome. That's How'd insane. you do? Uh, not good. No, not, not good. good. Not eleven and one. Not eleven and one. No, hey. eleven and one's probably that's going to be our best pick of the uh, of our guest picker segments. Yeah, no one's on. Te- nobody's on eleven yet. I don't think anybody's going to be eleven. But again, I didn't right make much money. It's oh well, right this guy, here, dude, right this here. guy over here is really confident yep. hitting that twelve. But yeah, back to Phaedra. She uh, she she beat you, but I I I got the little smug look on her. There. She got the lasagna. She got the lasagna. She also got a little judgmental look. Like, hmm. <laughs> All right, that was guest picker. You hungry? Yeah. Let's, let's feed do. our guests. We got some good stuff. We got some good stuff. All right. Is this game day food? Dave and Sammy. Yeah. It's time for everybody's favorite game day food segment. Is this game day food? All right. Uh, Sammy, what do we got today? Well, we went to Smash Burger. We've got the new mac and cheese burger and scorching hot mac and cheese burger. Wow. All right. Well, everybody knows the rules. We have to clarify them a little bit later. But let's get started on this, uh, this Smash Burger. Dave, go right ahead. Yeah. Stop. Now, what happens if I say you're officially sponsored by Smash Burger? Do you yeah, have to shut down the whole the podcast? 9.99. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we definitely will sell higher will sell out. burgers. If it's just for a free right. burger. I'm going in. It looks pretty uh, intense. It's, it's definitely yeah, this put is it out intense. There. Right, let's do this. Okay. I like the look of it. It looks like there's mm-hmm. effort in there. It's smashed properly. It definitely looks like game day food. All right. I'm off bread, by the way. So you're off bread. This is my cheat day, guys. This is my cheat yeah. day for the day. All right. I, I, I think I, I think I got him. Yep. He's gonna score it. You know, we go zero to ten. You know, we we don't. Mm-hmm. We do we do the the, the port yeah, method. Don't worry. I I, I only He's cheat done. on final exams, not on games. Oh boy. As a kid, I always cheated Monopoly, but that's kind of part of the game. Yeah. Got but, it. I mean, what do you think you made? Oh, I think you liked it. I'm going seven point six. I, I'm right there. I think he went 7.7. 7. What okay. do you got, Mr. Carroll? Well, gentlemen, 8.3. Yeah. We've seen I know. You I make know. my two favorite things, a burger and mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm really excited about trying this now. All right, yeah. get in there. Am I up first? I was yeah. like, keep in mind, I haven't had bread in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, double down the tape. the greatest. <laughs> yeah. This is bread? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't care that it's moldy. Just get it in my mouth. Whatever it takes. You know, but like, look how it just sticks to it like yeah, that. Like, I do like yeah, that. That's that's good. I do like that. 
He's he's easy to please when it comes to this. If yeah. it was fried chicken, I think he'd get hired. <laughs> yeah. Fried chicken is his biggest jam. He's going back in. I, I got I got big score. Oh yeah, yeah. So I do I score for Sammy too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. No, you guys yeah. got what I'm yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a little more hardcore than I am, I think. Yeah. I got hold on. Sammy, I got yeah. you at an eight point two. Seven seven, baby. Double sevens. James is the close with an eight point five. Yeah. Did really yeah. enjoy it. Really? I really did. All right. Damn. I'm, I'm not waiting on this one. No, get in oh, there. Yeah. You're going to love it. And then next we got, what do we got after that? So then we got the Scorching Hot. So we got to do both. Yeah. Ooh. I love a little Scorching Burger on the way in. Remember we did the Culver's Burger, which mm -hmm. I'm, that was a no-go. Oh, no. Culver's was out. They they had a, a curd burger. <laughs> curd burger. The name alone. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> the name alone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that provides me zero incentive to mm -hmm. curd you burger. You know, James really stone faced that one. Yeah. Couldn't really get a read on him. But go ahead. All your, right. What do you think, Mr. Carroll? You know what? I'm doubling down on my seven, baby. Seven point seven this time. I got you. I, I'm going seven six on that. I agree with him. I really liked it. This is an eight four. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, eight eight more. on this burger. Is, is this this might be the highest rated burger in the show? It's it's nice burger, you're killing it. Oh. Financially too. This is, <laughs> you know, this is an expensive yeah. episode. Just on the our segment, I should say. Every couple bucks is an extra couple. All right. Points, well, we, the regular one was good, so right. we mix it up and go to that it's scorching. Right. Hot. How's your digestive system, Caro? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see. One. Let's see. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Wine side don't care. All right, yeah, let's, just right in the back. All right, let's let's, let's get it in frame. Yeah. Hmm. Good. Some eyes went there. In the center. Hold on. You can talk. Gotta keep. I gotta keep it clean. Yeah. And you gave the yeah. first one what an eight point three? Uh, I was eight point three. All right. All right. So we can cheat a little bit. We know he liked it, but does he like the spice more or less? Sammy, what do you okay. think? I don't think he enjoyed I don't think it has anything to do with the spice. You just didn't have that same. So yeah. I'm going 7.9. Maybe okay. I was making that good poker face after the first I like one. Eight, I'm, I'm at 8.5. Guys, 6.8. Oh. Weak man. <laughs> I'm a weak man when it comes to spice. Man. Man. I'm a weak man, I'll be honest with you. Man. All right. All right, Sammy, you're up. Sammy likes the spice a little bit more. I, I, I'm, I'm weak, but I like That's it. That's a yeah, cheap yeah. Thing. Yeah, oh, we only get that. I mean, you, you guys got really tease a little bit. Oh, this is yeah, right in. We might have to finish this before the next second. <laughs> I'm not waiting. Uh, what was the first score you gave it, Sam? It didn't happen. In okay, something like that. Oh. In the eights. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What do you think, Dave? I'm going eight four. I think a little less than last time, but he's he's in it to win with the spice. A little slightly more, eight six. What do you got, right. Sam? Um, Dave had the right idea. I didn't like it as much. Eight, yeah. I ate one. Okay, eight one. Like it for you have it, but it's an eight. It's, it's a eight. eight. Yeah. eight though. It's talking that Ocho life of the smash. But I'll tell you why. We might get a sponsorship. See, this yeah. is like you see, like it's burned a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like that. I do like that. I like that mac and cheese burn. Mm -hmm. I'm going over to the side here. I don't want that to completely influence my opinion. All right. Oh, no. It's a mess looking, yes. but like yeah. in a good way. But you got to find that good entry. Point. This is one you could not eat in the car, although you'd want to. Oh, no, you can't eat this one. Or you would tell yourself, I'm not going to spill, and it just gets like all over there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Finding it for days. Yeah, after. dude. Car face. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you got? Easy. Wow. Easy. <laughs> Easy. What do you got there, Mr. Carroll? Uh, I'm also going to go a little less than last time, yeah. but right up there, 7 4. I'm going to go 7 4. I think you liked it more. I'm going 8.0. My first one well, was 8.4. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm 8.1. You I'm did well. Oh, yeah. That okay. heat is still getting me, though. Yeah, it's scorching. I can feel it. It is scorching. It, the heat was good. I don't think it added to the cheese, though. The, the, the mac and cheese. Like, it was good, but I preferred it just plain. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Ooh. Ooh. It was good. No. I'm liking it. Absolutely. Man. I think our favorite of all the. Game day foods. This is my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, Smashburger, the official sponsor. 
the Which point seconds. Thank you. The PTP. Thank you. Can't wait yeah, to have put legal disclaimers up there. <laughs> the, the way they're charging, we're going to be very wealthy. Yeah. Yeah. We just kept this location alive with one order. Very wealthy, yeah. man. Um, let's finish this, but I got something for you before we finish this Ooh. segment. Uh -oh. Let's talk about it. We have to talk about it real quick. Uh, the scoring system was, was very under scrutiny from uh, Bill S. Tansbury, no relation. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go back and, and say for a uh, game day food, it's got to be over 6.4 to be game day food. All right? If you're drinking, with every drink, it can go down one. One drink, you're down to 6.3. One drink, you're down to 6. Two drinks, you're down to 6.2. Up to 5.8. After six drinks, we give you no promises. Okay. You can drink, you can eat the, uh, what did you, what, what do we have there? The, um, the, the, the Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut oh, melts that you yeah, brought over? Yeah, those melts. Yeah. Right, yeah. You, can, are... you can wash them down with the, some of those cans <laughs> of Jameson pre-mixed cocktails that okay. we also hated terribly. So yeah, all right. For you, Bill, 6.4 and over, unless you're drinking. All right, so this is game day food for all of us. Three thumbs up. Yeah. Three thumbs up. And real quick, I'm going to hit you with a fast five, Dave. Comedy edition. Let's do it. Dave, it's in the news. It's it's a little topical today. Okay. A little sad topical. <laughs> it's a sitcom. Friends or Seinfeld? Seinfeld. All day. Sam? All day. Uh, you know I mean, what? It's, that's, that's tough, but I'm going Seinfeld. It's not even close. Yeah. I was yeah, yeah. starting to really? with an really easy close. one. Yeah. Stand-up comedian. Ooh. Dave Chappelle. This is going to be very hard for you. And I think you're going to jump on the one answer. Or Chris Rock. Man, if you're of a certain era, you're going Dave Chappelle right away. But yeah, Chris Rock, I, I, Bring the Pain was so good, it's hard to. But Chappelle has had a bigger career. Yeah, it, bigger it, and blacker with Chris Rock, man. Yeah. that was good. The initial thought, the knee jerk reaction is Chappelle. But uh, Rock was really good on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, did a couple movies that were fun. Did a couple movies that were terrible. Um, also took that bitch slap from Will Smith <laughs> and did a whole special on it, but ruined the joke at the end. He totally bit oh, the joke, yeah. which I felt bad. He done a live show. He can't go back on it. Mm. No, they redid it. They refilmed it. They did? Okay, because like, I saw back. the one. I saw the original, the too. Okay. Yep. So what do uh, you got on that? Because of Killing Them Softly, I'm going to go with Chappelle. Yeah. I, I got to go first special. It's Chappelle. first special. But it's closer Crush. than you would think. Yes. His most that. recent special, uh, Chris Rock, was amazing. One yeah. of the, actually, yeah. one of the, yeah, my yeah. favorite stand-up jokes of all time came from that special. Yeah. Which I won't repeat because I can't. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for not murdering Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly crafted bit on here. <laughs> yes. Uh, old school movies. Okay. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Ooh. Or the Mel Brooks classic, Blazing Saddles. Oh, this is man. so tough. I know I'm making this tough, dude. I'm your guest, man. Yeah. Give me a couple curve. Like, I know. Well, I get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You came from Seinfeld. Yeah. Come okay. on. I'm gonna go Holy Grail, Sammy. Oh, yeah. uh, Blazing Saddles. Holy Grail. Holy Grail is the winner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So good. But Blazing Saddles well. is my favorite. This is why you're in the yeah, thing in the back, Sammy. I, we're we're right here. Like in the nosebleed seat. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. I got two more hard ones. Okay. And because we are old school buddies and comedy nerds, yeah, I'm gonna hit you hard. The Simpsons. Or South Park. The Simpsons are so classic. It's classic. But South Park is also like amazingly good. What do you think? I'm gonna go South Park. They were a game changer when they came out, man. You know what I mean? South Park. South Park is the answer. Yeah. The Simpsons just went off the rails a couple of times. Yeah. But even then, so Simpsons were great. But I liked them better because I was young. I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I'd still watch them now. They're funny. But South Park has just never fallen off. Yeah. The first four yeah. seasons of the of, of the Simpsons are, are like terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all like Bart going like, whatever, man. Yeah. You know. It was and all then about they selling merchandise. Yeah. yeah. And then they found out that the funniest guy in the show is Homer, yeah. and then they fixed it. Yeah. yeah. They, they they just held on long enough. Kind of like the Points Taken podcast. Yes. 19 <laughs> weeks and now people are watching. Cowabunga. Cowabunga, dude. All right, last one. This is not. Uh, this is more a sketch performer and movie star. And okay. Because one of them is a, a stand-up as well. So we kind of take that out a little bit. But if you're going to watch a movie or you're going to watch some old school Saturday Night Live, you're going with Bill Murray or Eddie Murphy. It's tough. Oh, man. Because you just go, that's Bill Murray, one. nobody's going to beat Bill Murray. Yeah. And then I hit you with the old EM. Oh, dude. That's an easy one. We're talking all-around work. All-around work, but not stand-up. Stand-up, right, right. Because, oh. What do you, you, it's easy. What do you I'm got? I'm going Andy Murphy all the way. What do you got? I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go, without stand-up, I'm going to go Bill Murray. Yeah. It's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> but you were really close. <laughs> okay. You got four out of five. Okay. It's really close. It just it, trading places right off the bat. Oh yeah, it's so good. And Eddie was nineteen or twenty when he filmed that. Was he that? He was twenty when he did Beverly Hills Cop, I think. 
Wow. He was 19 when he was on Saturday Night Live. I mean, he started off. He if he would have died at like 22, there would be like statues of him oh, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. He was you so know? good. You didn't like fade away. You know, it was, you know, but, and he's still, you know, legitimate, but the stuff he's done lately is just like, yeah. Not, not well, that, good. You know what I like about him though? Like when you hear people talk about him outside of comedy, that's who he is in per- personally. Like, yeah. He's that same, he's that same energy, same comedy, just so funny personally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hear Bill Burr is kind of an asshole. Yeah. I hear he's yeah, kind of an that's asshole. That's all I ever hear about him is he's a dick. But has he made a bad movie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Has he? The elephant one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. fair enough. That one. Operation Dumbo Draft. Yeah, Operation Dumbo Draft. Does it count? Yes, it count. He was the star of the movie. There was one with Gina Davis where they like rob a bank. Yeah, and he was a clown. And he was a clown. Yeah. yeah. I about that one. There were a couple. Quick yeah. change. Quick change. Wow. Good, Good pull. <laughs> Good pull. All right. We went off the rails there, but we're having fun. <laughs> So we got, thanks, Smash Burger. On to something else. Are these game day drinks? We got a little surprise segment for everybody. Mm-hmm. We're going to do everybody's favorite game day drink. Game. Whatever. Are these game day drinks? All right. This is slowly just turning into a drinking show. Yep. Yeah. What do we got today, Sam? We've got the Sunny D Hard Seltzers. All right. Get on this. So mm-hmm. you've already had this. But oh, I'm gonna yeah. get what I'm gonna guess what you had what you, if you like it or not. So go right ahead. All right, no one I've had it before. Clearly, and I've lived my Sunday D summer. Yeah, clearly, I don't think you're pranking me that it's bad. I think you're gonna go. It's pretty good. If there's all summer involved in it. Yeah. All right. I just there's no way it can be like in the eights. There's no way. But let's see. I'm gonna take a second sip. Is that allowed? Okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you get wasted. Be like this drink. You need two sips to. But, you gotta, but you gotta it, let yeah. it open. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the time we do the news segment, I want you to be hammered on yeah. Sunny D vodka. Yeah, I hope so. But I'm right. kind of hammered, man. Uh, right. Sammy, what do you think he did? I think, well, knowing his his history, I think he's going 8.2. I got him a 7.2. What do you got? Guys, it's like drinking a memory. 9.0, baby. <laughs> you got you to have two sips and enjoy it. Okay. Right, Sammy, you're up. It's that second sip. You know what? We weren't watching your face after the first, after the first sip. Ridiculous. That's your pre-score. That there's no way. No. What do you think he's got on us? Sammy, he's a little more judgmental than I am. Yeah. But he loves a good, good memory. Okay, I'm gonna go seven three. I got him at seven six. I didn't enjoy it. Six four. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I I wasn't a Sunny D guy growing up. Neither was I, but now he's got vodka. <laughs> so does every other drink out there. All right, I'm going in. I'm prejudging this also. You already look grumpy. I'm not grumpy about it, but it's like, why does everything have to have booze in it? Everything's got to be hard. Have enough. you tried the tricks with rum in it? Yeah. It's so good. It's the best cereal. I would have that. I would. You would definitely have that. All right. I did not like your face before you drank it. <laughs> I don't like and your then face after, either. So, but I think you're... This is the same thing. I think thing. you're a like, good sport, though. I we think got, you're a good sport. I think for a game day drink, is it now like 6.2 or something? 6.4, I think you said. 6.4, yeah. so, well, that was for food. I think we'll, you we'll keep the same scoring system, yeah. the two not. Okay, so go ahead, Dave. What do you think? I think 5.1 for you. I think we lowered it. I think he prejudged it, but I don't think he hated it that much. I went 6.1. I actually had this qualified as a game day drink. This is 6.4. Wow. I'm shocked. The good thing is, you told me to freeze it, and I like things super cold. It does not have a disgusting aftertaste. Which most of these things do. So, uh, I would have a couple of these. See, I, the reason I scored a low is, yes, I like it, but I wouldn't have more than one. Yeah, but I would have maybe two or three, and it would plummet my game day food score. <laughs> I would be eating some terrible food after this. I don't think it's going to feel good the next day. I mean, it's Sunny D, right? I guess maybe It not. should. It hydrates you. It should hydrate I don't remember you. what I scored the Mountain Dew at, but this is way better than the Mountain Dew. Oh, yes. Yeah. And that pirate water thing we had was no, terrible. Way better than the pirate water. What's pirate water? I'll give you one in the next segment. That's the, that's the hard water by Barstool Sports. You have to try it. All right. It's, the only thing hard about it is the drinking part of it. <laughs> Trying to finish the can is the hardest part. Hard to finish water. <laughs> All right. So uh, game day drink, Sammy, we got a thumbs down. Mm-hmm, thumbs down. Uh, Dave, we have a huge, we got two thumbs up. Yeah. And I'll give it, you know, a decent thumbs up. All right. All right, that was it's just game day drinks. All right, thanks for hanging around there, Dave. Mm-hmm. I got I got one question before before the, we do the news, Sammy. Who do you got in Game Five of the World Series tonight, Sam? 
I don't know. I don't even know he's playing. The World Series is going on right now? You should have bet on that. Yeah. I should have asked. I didn't even know that when I thought it was over. Are you watching? Are you a baseball guy? You know, uh, now that the Cubs are out, I haven't been watching, but I know who's in it. You know who's in it. Yeah. Game five, yeah. Texas Rangers are up 3-1 to one over the Arizona Diamondbacks, so we'll see who wins. I think the Rangers steal a game. Uh, the Diamondbacks steal one tonight, but we'll see. You should have let Sam guess. So you even let. got the right state. Oh! Yeah. I have mean, got the right city or state. Yeah. I blew it. Um, the, the Blue Jays. Yeah. <laughs> I blew that. So what else is in the news? So we have the Thousand Dollar Breakfast Club. A group of well-to-do adults who used to work in the service industry are going in groups of 10 to IHOP and etc. and leaving thousand dollar tips. All right. I thought that was like when you take a family of four to a Disney breakfast. It's a thousand dollar breakfast <laughs> yeah. club. Boy, we went there recently. Not well, cheap. What is, so they're well-to-do now, but does that mean like CEO or are they like on OnlyFans? So one, I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they just, Your service industry, what is, what's the next step? The entertainment breakfast food. One yeah. guy was a lawyer, and he, a bunch of guys. They're going out. They're, they're, they're trying to make somebody's day. They were kind of yeah. douchey about it. because they, they, It's ten of them that went out, and they all put in a hundred. And uh, the one guy goes, um, you know, the only reason we're here is to make your day. And uh, but the like the subtext is like this food is so beneath us. We would never eat here. We're only here to virtue signal with a thousand dollars. We record ourselves doing it. Yeah, right. And but, then they take a selfie, slumming it. Exactly. Like, dude, that, here we are with Pedro. He's gross, but we're gonna take a picture with him. He smells terrible. <laughs> um, but better to do that than not do it. Yeah. You know, giving somebody a big tip when they need it is huge. Like that's you try to tip bigger on the holidays, especially. Um, like when people go in and they, they pay off people's like a Walmart Christmas oh, presents yeah. for their kids. Like yeah. that's yeah. that's that's hard to say like that's a jerk. And they do it totally anonymously. Yeah. Yeah. But then you know people are going in there and like just putting thousands of dollars down and like opening me iPod, uh, you know, uh, Xboxes and all that stuff. So <laughs> just going around the same like yeah. Walmart with the same shopping cart hoping. They must have had a lot of people yeah. that were like that went to every uh, Walmart or Walgreens or whatever. They just put as many things as they could on layaway. Because yeah. I don't think you have to like pay any money. Like You just have to be yeah. like, I'll, I'll be back. And even if you do, you get it back. You know, yeah. There's no consequence. Yeah. So, but uh, are you guys big tippers? Yeah. Right, yeah I, you know, I've worked in the service industry enough that kind of have to be. Mm. Um, I mean, right now, there's some people that want tips, and you're like, well, what did you do? That's my problem, yeah. right? You know, like at Smash Burger today, they're like, you know, they turn the thing around. Yeah. And then they pretend like they don't see the screen. Uh, but they're, they're oh watching. yeah, yeah. They're watching and judging. They got one at Shake Shack. The guy hits. Uh, I go. Uh, Can I go with you, or do you want me to use a kiosk? He goes. It's just use a kiosk. And so I use a kiosk, and then it's like, do you want eighteen percent, twenty percent, or twenty five percent? And I'm like, how about no percent? <laughs> yeah, the, the guy did nothing. He didn't help me. Yeah. And then a guy came in behind me, and he helped that guy. There was nobody there. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm I'm putting in my own order. Yeah. I'm picking it up. I'm bussing it. I want to help out, but. We, we, you know, we're raising the the the, rate, um, the 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 minimum wage and everything. Like, it's got to end somewhere. All of our service industry fans probably just left the show. Yeah, that's fine, <laughs> and, and, and they can because if you're gonna give me that look that you give me at Starbucks and not a good attitude, I'm not happy about it. You know, they're like, "What do you want?" And I'm like, "Could just a coffee and cream, okay?" And then, "What's your name?" And I'll say Jim instead of James to make it easier on them. <laughs> I'm helping you out. I'm being friendly. But then they have like instructions on them, their body, like how you need to refer to them. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And you gotta call them like Mr. Cinderella and pretend that this is like a real thing <laughs> that we have to do in society. And then they're like, where's my $4 tip on a $7 coffee? Yeah, yeah. so I guess I'm not going there anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I'm never allowed to go there anymore. But like on the holidays, like, do you tip your mailman? Do you tip your garbage man? I try to. I no, I've never done that. Well, you live in like apartments and yeah. stuff, but if you live in a house and you see them consistently, my garbage guys are amazing. Yeah. If there was a stack of dead bodies out there, yeah. they would take them yeah. and be like, "Don't worry, we're it's good." Smile doing it. It's yeah, like, it happens. We all go yeah. through it. <laughs> they just wink at you. Yeah. They treat you so yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, gotcha, bro. My man. Yeah. Yeah, my it's man. About time, my man. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> what? Well, it is Chicago. It's yeah. ish. Yeah. In that Beckham documentary, that guy that played with him, Gary Neville, mm. was yeah. like. Um, you know, did you think about going to the uh, LA Galaxy? Were you jealous or did you want to go with, with David Beckham? And he's like, he's like, no. He goes, and it's not because of their terrible soccer. It's because I don't understand America at all. He goes, you, you pay someone 25% of your bill to like deliver you dinner. And I'm like, yeah, that is like, in Europe, they don't no, do any of that. They don't tip, man. Yeah. They don't tip, and it's like part of the deal. And I think tipping's good, but the expectation of a tip has gotten so high. Yeah. And the expectation of like, you know, uh, 
bad service. They're like, we don't care. You you owe us this money when you walk in the door. Yeah. I get 20% of whatever your bill is or 25% now or whatever. I feel guilty even if they're they're really bad service. I'm like, maybe I'll just go 18. Yeah. <laughs> and like that's like, I just have that guilt though. I'm like, I had that guilt I'm too. so cheap. Yeah. I went 18%. I hated that person with my soul. Hated. 18%, I guess, instead of 20. I know. Like that's the, that's the bottom line now. I know. I hate it so much. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully uh, we can change this around and people start getting better. If I go in there and you're smiling and you got a good attitude, I'm happy to tip you. Yeah. But if you're a jerk and I'm like sitting there with a, 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 an empty like water glass and they're yeah. just like, you're texting their friends and high-fiving <laughs> and playing ass grab behind, I'm just like, forget it. So I also just imagine you're only ordering waters for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> just judging it, sir. Yeah. Well, I was going to say Coke and then I don't want people going like, why is he drinking Coke? Look at those chins on him. Whatever. I didn't feed biggest, you water. I love that it's your biggest fear. I'm, I'm, I'm judging people, myself. People a might lot think you're drinking coke. <laughs> but I'm definitely drinking coke. What has happened to us in the summer? In Sunny D. Yes. Sunny D summer, baby. <laughs> I'm worried about a coke judgment. Yeah. But I'm yeah. drinking this. Yeah, this this burns the chin. Casually. Down. This burns the chin. Cheers. Down. <laughs> Officially sponsored by Sunny D. Summer yep. Mash Burger. Uh huh. What else, Sammy? Celebrities took to the media to show off their Halloween costumes. Social media everywhere. Instagram is blowing up. Heidi Klum considers herself the, uh, she labels herself the queen of Halloween, and she really goes all out. Every year it's something really expensive or, or elaborate. Let's look at some of these pictures of uh, old, uh, old Heidi here. So yeah. this year, she was dressed as like a, like a, what is that, a peacock? Peacock, yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, it's crazy, right? You know she's not paying for this. Hmm. Like, not, she's not, not spending even, a not even dime. People? You don't think she's even paying those people? She's not paying anybody. <laughs> it's just, like, you know, they get clout for being That's true. around her, right? She also seems like a no-tipper, too. She seems like a terrible like no-tipper. Zero tipper, yeah. <laughs> like, like, you got to smell a whiff of my body. <laughs> that's your tip. You're welcome. Where's my chain? Like, I don't care. That's a cool costume, though. <laughs> it's, yeah, okay. It's creative. But here's what Heidi does to people, right? She does this, and, and, and she does this guy. With the egg. Oh. You know who that is? No. That's her husband. Oh, wow. In that egg. And I'm like, well, this is the biggest cuck I've ever seen. Yeah. Right? That, yeah, I don't even get the costume. You know, like, that's... He, like, that's her egg. He, that's her egg. He, she made that giant monstrosity, which she did in a way. Yeah. Um, and that's him. Boy. It kind of looks like the like the Chet monster a little bit yeah. in uh, Weird Science with the arms. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm like, that's the biggest cuck ever, right? That's such a bad look. You yeah. have no respect for yourself. <laughs> well, sure enough, scroll down a little bit further, and here she is with an ex-husband. <laughs> and that ex-husband happens to be Seal. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How is this not problematic? This was like several years ago. Oh, How is somebody yeah. not canceling her for suggesting this? Yeah. But you can see he's screaming in emotion. <laughs> Right <laughs> Everybody was too very busy staring at yeah. him. Is that is that a, a, a chimpanzee you would think? I, an ape? It looks like the apes from the an ape? of the apes. So yeah, yeah, it does look like. Maybe she an pitched ape. that to him. Yeah. Like she just like you're going to be an ape. Yeah. It's like I don't think that you're going to be an ape. <laughs> See you. Yes, dear. I'll put the nipples out and everything, and you'll be ape. <laughs> Oh man, she got like her her hand up his butt there. That was something. Something's yeah, going on for that look. Angry, he just mumbles, kiss from a rose, and walks out. Yeah, like probably. What's your favorite seal song? That's I, that's the only that's one. The only one. <laughs> well, crazy. Everybody knows crazy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And well, then uh, was about her from the apparently. dying. That's the one. That's the jam. But she goes through all these things. Like she dresses up like, like look at look at how crazy this is. That's oh. her. Oh. She's obsessed that's with her nipples. Like, apparently. why do you need that uh, attached to your nipples? Yeah. And this whole thing, and she put on like a fat suit. I'm like, just let it go for like a, a you know weekend. Yeah. And then and then like she dressed up another year like this. She's like, a sheer bodysuit, but then I'll have something on my face. It's like everybody admire my amazing <laughs> like fifty year old body. Um, but so she's a headache. But why don't like, just here's her, here's her as Betty Boop. That's what we want. Oh yeah, that's good. You know, that's what we want. We want we want like I mean this is what this is what everybody wants. I mean, this is the uh, the Heidi the Heidi we all know. Um, you know that va 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 boom. You know. That what if you're that attractive, why dress up as like a monster with things on your nipples? So but that's how she asked her husband to be the egg. It was in that look. And yeah. Like, yep, She's yeah, like, yeah, I'll need. do what what do you yeah, what? the egg? Sure. Yeah. You're not even listening, you just say yes. And yeah. you're like, fucking uh-huh. dude. And then this is uh her daughter. Um and she's she's not unattractive either. Yeah. Damn. Not unattractive. No, not at all. But what is that look? Is that strawberry shortcake that like 
got into drugs and is being yeah. pimped out or something? Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking. Like, is that what Boo's Nanny looks like from Muppet Babies, dude? Like, yeah. Is, is that what I, we always imagine? Another dark turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another dark turn by this. But yeah, and then uh, Savannah Guthrie um, from the Today Show, she went up and she's like, I'm Taylor Swift. And I'm like, no, you're not. I'm sorry, but you're not. I mean, it's fine if you're going to like run around the house like that, but it's very self-indulgent. Like the, the arm flex, everything. I don't know. I mean, this is Taylor and there's a big difference in the look, you know, Taylor's a lot better looking. You need to have a dude doing the Kelsey then. Yeah. Do that. Oh, there were a lot of Taylor Swift, and you're going to be Taylor. Have a Kelsey. Yeah, we're everywhere this yeah. year. Yeah. These, uh, you remember these guys from uh, Batman Forever? Oh yeah. Nice. This is this is sugar and that spice. A terrible movie. Was that Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. It's like the one time I was like, she looks pretty good. As much as we hate her, she's in every episode we do. She yeah. is in every. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, we we hate her, but we are upset. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate talking about her. You know, true story. When a family member dies. Yeah. We always were like uncomfortable being like, hey, grandma died, or blah, blah. So our, our code and was like, hey, grandma Drew Barrymore. Swear to God. Like, <laughs> but like me and my sisters, my sisters ever like, hey, Drew Barrymore. We're like, oh, someone died. Like, swear yeah. to God. And like my wife had to like deal, learn to deal with that of like, what? Just wow. talk with your feelings. Just go with it. But we hated Drew Barrymore that much. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty rough. That is yeah. interesting. Yeah. And wow. I'm telling you, it's a lot easier of a text than being like, it is. So uh, Kendall and Kylie Jenner did Sugar and Spice and uh, nailed it a little oh, bit better. Yeah. yeah, like I'm not a big fan of these two, but they're attractive and they yeah. all the hair and makeup. They got all the right people. They yeah. should have been in that movie. <laughs> it might have made it uh, tolerable. But where's Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah, there's a Tommy Lee Jones, but he yeah. wasn't really needed either. The, the, mom should, the mom should own Tommy Lee Jones. And then these are yeah. the from a show yeah. called Stelling Sunset. And uh, I don't know that show. I, well, it's it's like a reality show, mm. but they did uh, F. This is F over here. And uh, this is Mary, and that's Kill. Oh. And m- here's my here's my theory. Mary was just like, I want to dress in this lingerie yeah, and look like a yeah. uh, trollop. And uh, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll do the other thing. So she's the star here. I guess she's some realtor now or whatever, but she was some former model. Definitely got it. What they say, uh, the old kids say, is going on. <laughs> so she's like, I'll, I'll wear lingerie out in a thong in L.A., and you guys be the other two things. And they're like, Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Veronica, or whatever the hell her name is. And then Randy Gerber and Cindy Crawford. Cindy looks a little bit um, Puerto Rican there to me. Oh, is this from uh, like West Side Story or something? No, that's uh, Greece. Greece. Oh, Greece, yeah. I'm sorry, there you go. But, but that's not Sandy. That's like uh, Consuela or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Would that make sense then, West Side Story? That should have been West Side Story. Yeah. It would have worked out. Right. That would have been better. Maybe it's a yeah. crossover. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they were going for. So, that's, you know. That's a new Disney version of... Uh, Exactly. Another South Park callback. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, we we uh, it, it was it was a good. I, I I really I prefer I prefer old Teen Wolf for your you know, any of that. Yeah. Best costume I saw this year. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Had a lot of fun, man. Dave, we appreciate you coming out. This has been a great, great uh, uh, getting back together, mixing it up. Yeah. Want everybody to have a great weekend. Don't forget to comment below. We'll get some uh, parlays out there. We're gonna have a good time. We're on X at Point Second Pod. We're also on Instagram at Point Second Pod. All right, we will see you very soon. Thanks again, Dave. Have a great weekend. Bonus out, Nick. All right. Did Sonny D have a tagline back in the day? It was, uh, no, but it was uh, the kid in the fridge that was, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Pop. It was like yeah. hold up, purple stuff. Purple stuff. Sunny D. Sunny D. Oh, yeah. purple stuff. I think, no, it was, it was, um, Sunny D, the D doesn't stand for dicks. <laughs> Remember that one? I, I vaguely remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they had to get that. You can only show it after 9 p.m. <laughs>